Greetings everyone, my name is Happy Msiza. I am a second year PhD student in animal science. My research basically is in planted pastures, which looks at the planted pastures that we can use as uh, animal feed for animals. So what I have done for my research is that I'm looking into three different uh, veg legumes, of which the first one is common veg, second one is vulgar veg, and the third one is haymaker. So the reason why, I have why I'm looking at this research is because it has not been done in sub-Saharan Africa. Rather, it has been researched in other countries overseas as a feed supplement. So I felt the need to also look into it in the sense that would it actually be helpful if we feed this veg legume to small stock, especially in uh, a semi-arid area like the Northwest. So for these legumes, I'll be looking at three different growth stages, including their morphological characteristics. So I'll be looking at the pre-flowering stage, I'll be looking at the flowering stage, and the pot stage. So it has been advised uh, in different research papers that when you're feeding this legume to goats, it's very advisable that a person feeds these veg legumes at 50% flowering. Because once you feed this legume, when it's at the pot stage, it may be very toxic to goats and may lead to the death of the goats. So as part of the morphological characteristics, I'll be looking at the plant height, I'll be looking at the growth rate of the veg, I'll also be looking at the chlorophyll, and I'll also be looking at the number of leaves and flowers that is actually produced from these different veg legumes. And of course, it is very important for me to look at the bulk of this veg legume so that when I can recommend it to farmers, then I can be able to say this variety is the best in terms of its establishment and in terms of the yield that it actually produces. So that when farmers are feeding during the drier months of the, of the year, then at least they know that they have enough bulk to feed to their goats. So when feeding this veg legume, it is fed as a protein supplement because as you may know, when the drier seasons are approaching, you find that the grasses are not as nutritious as they are supposed to be, so they may serve no purpose to the animals. But once we feed this veg legume as a protein supplement, that is when we are able to boost the productivity of these, ve of these small stock animals. So this is the second component, uh, so this is also part of the research. So what happens is that after I have planted the veg legumes, I then harvest it at the flowering stage, at 50% flowering stage specifically. So I then harvest and then I put it in a shaded place for it to air dry. So after I've dried it for approximately four weeks, that is when I, br that's when I pack it into uh, different bags and then I label those bags depending on the variety. So the, leg, the veg legume that I just fed the goats right now is called common veg. So I fed it to the goats because I realized that one of the, one of the veg legumes that the goats actually enjoy and is very palatable to them is the common veg. So seeing that now the season, it's in winter season, it's a bit dry. So this can then uh, be a form of a, a protein supplement to the goats. Okay, so in this lab, this is where we do the chemical composition. We basically find out the different nutritive parameters that are found in the veg legume. For instance, we check NDF, ADF and lignin which are the fibers that are basically usually found in the veg legume. 
and then we also check the crew protein which is the most critical part of the feed because that is what animals actually need in most in most cases and then we also check the blood profile of the animal after we've given it the veg legume so here this is where i would put the 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 blood tubes so i would put them in both these machines and then where I, and then it runs for us to see the results as to what exactly can we actually find from the different blood tubes that we took from the goats so here i would be able to then get the results for the red blood cells and the white blood cells so from these results that is where i can be able to understand whether feeding this veg legume actually has a good um, impact towards the animals of which of course that is what we are looking for because at the end of the day I would have to then recommend to farmers that you can use these veg legumes and which one um, the farmer can actually be able to use based on the three different varieties so which means when I now look at all of the parameters that I would have analyzed from the field which is the morphology to the side of the small stock where I actually fed those veg legumes up until here where I'm actually analyzing the blood parameters and the chemical composition of the, the veg legume. All that information is going to be able to give me an idea as to which variety is the best in terms of establishment, in terms of growth, in terms of uh, yield and of course in terms of the nutritive value that I would have analyzed in the lab. So at the end of the day, the most important part about the research is for us to actually find a protein supplement that can work for both the animals and our communal farmers. Because buying feed is very uh, costly for most communal farmers, it's usually a better idea for farmers to actually find a, a veg legume that they can be able to establish, that they can actually be able to plant in their own farms they cut it, they dry it, and they feed it to their goats so that they can be able to mitigate the shortage of protein supplement, especially during the winter seasons.